Be careful what you touch and what you eat. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of poisonous plants in the world, with some of them causing inconveniences ranging from skin irritation to loss of life. Here are 10 of the world's deadliest plants. Wolfsbane. Asinite plant stands up the height of 6 feet. The large blue, purple, and white mixed flowers are so attractive. The poisonous proportions of this plant have been known for generations. Several species of the plant, for example, have long been used in preparing poison-tipped arrows for purposes of hunting and warfare. More recently, it was used by the Nazis in World War II to make their bullets more lethal. In cases of ingestion, symptoms can include burning in the limbs and abdomen. However, if a large enough dose is taken as little as 20 millimeters, death can occur in as little as two hours. Wolfbane is also referenced in mythology and pop culture as being able to either repel werewolves or, like in Harry Potter books, to induce the wolf state regardless of the moon phase. Water Hemlock One of the most toxic plants that grows in North America. Secute plants reach up to a height of 2 to 2.5 two meters and have small umbrella-shaped green or white colored flowers. The plant also has thick main stem and it contains extreme toxic liquid. It is highly dangerous for humans, will affect central nervous instantly. Closely related to poison hemlock, the plant that famously killed Socrates, water hemlock has been deemed the most violent toxic plant in North America. A large wildflower in the carrot family, water hemlock resembles Queen Anne's lace and is sometimes confused with edible parsnips or celery. However, water hemlock is infused with deadly secotin toxin, especially in its roots, and will rapidly generate potentially fatal symptoms in anyone unlucky enough to eat it. Water hemlock contains a toxin named cicotoxin, which is known for causing seizures if ingested. The toxin is found in all parts of the plant, but is most highly concentrated in the roots, especially in the spring season. Painful convulsions, abdominal cramps, nausea, and death are common, and those who survive are often afflicted with amnesia or lasting tremors. Other symptoms include vomiting, tremors, and confusion. The ultimate cause of death is usually respiratory failure or ventricular fibrillation, and can occur mere hours after ingestion. The Suicide Tree This deadly plant is called Pong Pong. To inhabitants of Southeast Asia, is a medium-sized tree that grows green and orange mango-looking fruit. But despite their delicious appearance, the seeds within the fruit are highly toxic, containing the poisonous alkaloids strychnine and brucine. Just 30 milligrams of these potent toxins is enough to kill a normal-sized adult, usually in a very painful manner that involves violent convulsions brought on by simultaneously stimulation of the sensory ganglia in the spine. The seeds of the suicide tree contain a toxin called cerberin, a potent compound capable of disrupting calcium ion channels in heart muscle, which can lead to an irregular heartbeat that is often fatal if the toxin is ingested in high enough quantities. The plant has been referred to by some as a perfect murder weapon. Getting someone to ingest a cerberin in the suicide tree is purportedly pretty easy to do, as its flavor can be disguised by spices when served in food. The toxin is also notorious for being overlooked as a cause of death in autopsies. The plant was also ominously nicknamed the suicide tree after it was found to be responsible for over 530 poisonings in the Kerala state of India. Sadly, many of those poison cases were suicides, most likely because Cerbera odolum is widely available in that area, and its lethality is well documented. In these cases, the individuals remove the kernel from the fibrosis seed husk and mash it with cane sugar to make a sweet, albeit deadly, final meal. Deadly Nightshade Belladonna is among the most toxic plants found in the Eastern Hemisphere. Both the leaves and berries are extremely toxic, and eating them can bring on a laundry list of symptoms that include dilated pupils, sensitivity to light, blurred vision, loss of balance, headaches, rashes, severely dry mouth, slurred speech, urinary retention, constipation, confusion, hallucinations, delirium, and convulsions. According to legend, Macbeth's soldiers poisoned the invading Danes with wine made from the sweet fruit of the deadly nightshade. Indeed, it is the sweetness of the berries that often lures children and unwitting adults to consume this lethal plant. The native of wooded or waste areas in central and southern Eurasia, deadly nightshade has dull green leaves and shiny black berries about the size of cherries. 
Nightshade contains atropine and scopolamine in its stems, leaves, berries, and roots, and causes paralysis in the involuntary muscles of the body, including the heart. Even physical contact with the leaves may cause skin irritation. The berries pose quite a risk to children because they look attractive and have a moderately sweet taste. Eating just 5 to 10 berries would probably be enough to kill an adult. However, a single leaf is enough to prove fatal. White Snake Root An innocuous plant, white snake root was responsible for the death of Abraham Lincoln's mother, Nancy Hanks. White snake root is a North American herb with flat-topped clusters of small white flowers and contains a toxic alcohol known as tremetol. Unlike those who have died from directly ingesting deadly plants, poor Nancy Hanks was poisoned by simply drinking the milk of a cow who had grazed on the plant. It's so poisonous that even drinking the milk or eating the meat of a cow that has ingested snake root can prove fatal. Symptoms of milk poisoning include loss of appetite, nausea, weakness, abdominal discomfort, reddened tongue, abnormal acidity of the blood, and death. Luckily, farmers are now aware of this life-threatening hazard and make efforts to remove the plant from animal pastures. Milk sickness, as the disease came to be known, actually killed thousands of ignorant European settlers who came to North America and bred livestock in the early 19th century. Though this plant is used as a remedy to treat snake bites, eating it can bring about a swift death. It contains a substance called tremetol that causes vomiting, thirst, and delirium before it kills you. Lovely plants, right? Don't be deceived by these deadly plants. You have to check the rest of my list. This plant is so dangerous, each part of the plant contains toxins. Angel's Trumpets Botanists will tell you that members of the genus Brugmania get their nickname Angel Trumpets from their large hanging trumpet-shaped flowers, which can measure up to 50 centimeters long and 35 centimeters wide at their openings. But we like to think it's named for the trumpeting angels that will herald your arrival in the afterlife. Brugmansia are flowering plants that can be found in a variety of tropical locations throughout the world, but are native to the tropical regions of South America. It gets the name Angel's Trumpets from the dangling trumpet-shaped flowers that hang from the tree. Though the flowers look lovely and come in a variety of colors including yellow, orange, pink, and white, all parts of the plant contain toxins like tropane alkaloids, scopolamine, and atropine. The plant has also been known to be used as a hallucinogenic drug that induces a powerful trance that is often accompanied by violent, sickening after-effects that border on insanity. Ingestion of the plant, which contains dangerous levels of the chemicals sopolamine and atropine, is often fatal. There's even a report recorded in Psychiatry and Clinical Neuroscience of a man who cut off his own tongue and penis after drinking a single cup of Brugmangia tea. So pollenine has been known to be used by scammers in some countries to take advantage of tourists by turning them into unwitting zombies that empty out their bank accounts and have no recollection of the events. It is usually applied by blowing it in the victim's face. Castor Oil Plant Everyone is aware about castor oil, which is used to treat different skin conditions, to reduce pain, and as an antiviral. The castor bean plant, the flowering plant from which castor oil comes from, is actually highly poisonous. Castor oil is made from seeds of castor bean plant, but these seeds contain ricin, extremely dangerous toxin. It is also present in other parts of castor bean plants, but in low concentration. Castor plants are indigenous to India, Eastern Africa, and the Mediterranean Basin. Lots of people are familiar with castor oil as a common remedy used to treat many skin conditions, but the flowering plant from which castor oil comes from is actually highly poisonous. Castor oil is made from the seed of the plant, but the seeds contain ricin, an extremely dangerous toxin that's more potent than cyanide, strychnine, and many snake venoms. In fact, ricin is 6,000 times more poisonous than cyanide, one of the most poisonous things ever known. But poisoning from castor beans merely depends upon amounts of seeds consumed by the victim. The effect of castor beans in animals also varies by species. In humans, it makes burning in the mouth, pain, drop in blood pressure, and diarrhea. Without proper treatment, it also causes death within 24 hours. Once symptoms start showing, the process is often irreversible, with the final cause of death ultimately being dehydration. Surprisingly, humans are the most sensitive to the castor oil seeds, as it takes 1 to kill a full-grown human, 11 to kill a dog, and a massive dose of 80 to kill a duck. 
Little Apple of Death. The Machinelle is one tree you'll certainly want to avoid getting anywhere near. The Machinelle tree does not like company. It can be found off the coast of Florida, as well as South and Central America, and has a reputation for being one of the world's most poisonous trees. If you brush up against the tree, the white sap it produces is liable to produce a violent allergic reaction on your skin. In addition to the deadly fruit that grows on its branches, nearly every part of this tree is loaded with powerful toxins, especially the sap which contains forbol, a strong skin irritant. Coming in contact with the sap provokes strong allergic dermatitis, resulting in a painful blistering of the skin. Standing beneath the tree during a rainstorm will cause any skin that comes in contact with runoff from the tree to blister. This can present a perilous risk during rainy weather when people might think it's a good idea to seek shelter under the tree's leaves, only to end up getting sprinkled with drops that have mixed with the sap. It only takes a minuscule amount of sap to make the skin break out in blisters, which perhaps isn't so surprising given that it's been known to strip the paint off of cars. Smoke from burning machinal wood has also been known to cause permanent blindness. These epidermal effects are caused by the powerful irritant forbol, just one of the many toxins found in the tree's milky sap. Ingesting the tree's fruit, pictured here, is often fatal on the accounts of its phosphatic mine content, which can lead to complications involving nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and seizures. Basically, don't mess with the machinelle. There's a reason it's called the little apple of death. You won't like it, and it definitely doesn't like you. Rosary Pea More than plant seeds of rosary pea can be easily recognizable attractive scarlet color seeds. It grows in tropical regions around the world. The attractive seeds of rosary pea used as beads in many places of India and Indonesia. Also called jaquirity beans, these piously named seeds contained abrin, an extremely deadly ribosome inhibiting protein. Strangely enough, they are often used as beads for jewelry because they have a pretty orangey red color, with a single black spot. Though the seeds have a tough protective shell that can pass through the human digestive system intact, they contain the poison abrin, which is about 75 times stronger than ricine. Therefore, if the seed is scratched or chewed, it very well might be the deadliest plant on the planet, as it is able to kill an adult with as little as 3 micrograms. Even when the seeds are used as a bracelet or necklace beads, they pose a huge threat, as jewelry makers have died after pricking their fingers on the drill bits used to make the tiny holes in the seeds. Oleander The Italian name for oleander translates as ass killer, which you think would be enough to dissuade anyone from eating them. But if you do happen to be unfortunate enough to ingest the poisonous seeds from the plant, expect to start feeling those ass killing effects almost immediately. This bush pops up in parks, schools, and backyards all over the country, especially in the southern and western regions of the US. And while it might be nice to look at, don't go chewing on any part of it. Its leaves, flowers, and fruit all contain chemicals known as cardiac lysosides, which, while therapeutic in precise doses, can put you into cardiac arrest if ingested unsystematically. Described by Pliny, the elder in ancient Rome, oleander is a beautiful plant known for its striking flowers. Though commonly grown as a hedge and ornamental, all parts of the oleander plant are deadly and contain lethal cardiac lysosides, known as oleandrin and neurine. If eaten, oleander can cause vomiting, diarrhea, erratic pulse, seizures, coma, and death and contact with the leaves and sap is known to be a skin irritant to some people. Indeed, the toxins in oleander are so strong that people have become ill after eating honey made by bees that visited the flowers. Fortunately, fatalities from oleander poisoning are rare, as a plant is very bitter and thus quickly deters anyone sampling the vegetation. All these plants are dangerous, but which is deadliest to us, based on how I described them? Let us talk about it by leaving a comment down below. I'll make sure I reply to every single comment that is posted within the first hour. Some of the most memorable moments in sports are epic fails that most of the athletes would like to forget more than anything. No one wants to remember embarrassing bloopers to oversell celebrations, epic collapses, and major mental mistakes.